What is going on, everybody? It is D-Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today we've got gameplay. I was hoping for a Kevin Byer today, but we did not get him, unfortunately. We got a Melvin Gordon, which was really interesting to me because we went back-to-back -back weeks having an offensive LTD for the Team of the Week promo. But that was just really interesting to me uh, because the past, I don't know, seven weeks, I believe, seven, eight weeks, it's gone offense, defense, offense, defense, offense, defense, offense, defense, and we go offense, offense for some odd apparent reason. I'm not sure, but should have been Kevin Byard. Um, that's unfortunate, but we do have some good news. Um, we went ahead and put Sprinter on some of our players. Uh, you know, Sprinter and Brawler, I've mixed it in, but we have some other good news, uh, which I'll get into if you guys wanted to see what my... Uh, you know, chemistries are there. They are right there. Uh, we've got McNair here, which I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna feature in this video. Uh, let's go ahead and check him out. If you guys did not watch the Titan Steam Team video from two days ago or from Saturday, go check that out. It was a, it was a banger, guys. Uh, we made so many people quit. But Steve McNair here, 96 overall. He's got 88 speed, 98 throw power, insane. 92 short, 91 mid. Uh, 94 deep, 94 throw under pressure, 92 throw on the run, and 91 play action. So, very nice looking card here. Uh, that throw power is just insane at 98. His set feet lead was an issue on Saturday. They had that fixed, so we'll be able to work with that today as well. Um, so, yeah, no, nothing changes with the offense. We just have, you know, a, you know, Bruiser and, and Sprinter on some players. We have Calico up to 95 now. Andre Johnson at 95, I believe. Drew Bennett was 91 already still. Uh, but going to the defensive side of the ball, uh, we do have 98 overall Sam Mills, which is an, he's an absolute beast. Uh, I have Sprinter on him. Once we get Sprinter, once we are able to get Sprinter to 40, I will go a full Sprinter team. So I'll have 40 out of 40 Sprinter. Uh, and he'll have 95 speed, which is insane. With he, <laughs> 94 speed, 97 acceleration, 82 strength, 99 tackle, 99 play rec, 89 block shed, 91 hit power. And a 94 zone coverage. So, uh, yeah, 94 zone coverage, very nice. 97 awareness as well. 83 change of direction also is pretty good. Uh, if you guys are wondering how I have that card art, just go ahead and bang out your tackles. Um, there's a challenge in Rivals, I believe. I think it's Challengers and the third one down. Uh, I think you get sacks with Sam Mills and you get 45. Just do that over and over and over. You want to, you know, come out and punt safe man. Uh, and then audible to like eight up safe man or something like that and you'll get easy blocks if you don't know how to you know do that probably there's multiple videos uh you know showing you guys how to do that but very simple thing to get your 98 overall sam mills and then the other thing is you have to get 1500 tackles which is going to take a while but if you guys do end up doing all four of those uh you do end up getting 135k uh which is easy coins guys easy coins um final thing i want to talk about is albert hainsworth and javon curse uh, hard to see their overalls, but they are both 94. Um, Kimmed up to 94. Uh, the good news about them two is that we are getting the 50 Series 2 power-up. So all the 50 players that have come into... Uh, all the all the 50 players that were in Series 2, their power-ups will be in packs starting Wednesday. So starting tomorrow, we will get the 50 power-ups in packs, which is huge. Which means these prices are going to go from about... 500 400k to 50 to 100k i would assume um so that is huge we'll be able to get our hands on those power-ups which is going to help us boost that boost them up this is huge too guys so listen they will get boosted up both to 93 stock okay so once you get at 93 overall you'll get you'll be able to get times two sprinter and as you can or times two any of the you know physical chems as you can see we're too short right now so once we get these two will be will be very good. We'll be able to get times two on Javon Curse, which will be plus one from his one sprinter that he has. And we'll, we'll get Albert Hainsworth up to times two uh, sprinter as well, which will be will put us at 40 sprinter. So theme team is coming together, guys. Um, I believe that's it. Special team stayed the same. Uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much it. Big time, big time, you know, having Hainsworth and Javon Curse uh, going you know, going to be able to get their power-ups pretty easily when they come into packs tomorrow. And another thing Kralo said this morning is uh, that we are getting uh, some, we're not, 
wildcard Wednesday, we're not getting like players, I, I, I guess is what he said. He said we're getting a house rules that are, is giving us a 90 overall Nat player. So hopefully we'll see some Titans out of that. Uh, but yeah, and also I do ha still have my power up pass. I think I'm going to use on Javon Curse uh, because he is more expensive than Albert Hainsworth. So I'm going to end up selling Javon Curse. He's probably going to go up in price because his power up is going to go down. So his this card should go up in price. So holding on to that. Once, his, once I get my hands on his power up, going to power him up. Use that 92 overall power up pass. Get him up to 93. Sell this card. Uh, and we'll be looking really, really nice on coins. Probably going to be over a million, guys. So going to be looking good and then Albert Hainsworth will probably just power up that card get him to 93 stock probably powered or chemmed up to 95 so yeah D-line's going to be looking really really nice there uh, but yeah there's the offense still waiting on you know right tackle fullback maybe uh, Lorenzo Neal hopefully but yeah that's going to do it for the lineup update let's go ahead and hop into the video or hop into the game I should say alright guys went ahead got a quick stop he did throw me a pick uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started here. Looks like someone in cover three, which this, uh, you guys know this Calico route beats cover three pretty easily. So we'll have to just wait and see if he covers it, but we'll see. Uh, looks like he's going to come out. Man, looks like Calico is going to absolutely beat his guy over the top. That's going to be easy touchdown for McNair. So early touchdown for McNair. Let's get him going. Let's see if we can get over 300 yards this game. Maybe three touchdowns, four touchdowns. Something crazy like that would be very exciting. All right, guys, coming back out on offense, uh, it is 14-7. I kind of skipped a drive for a reason. Uh, might have thrown a pick, might not have. But let's go ahead and hop into this. We're going to be throwing a screen pass to Derrick Henry, see if he can get something going on the uh, screenplay. Looks like a lot of yards here on the screen. Way to get out of bounds there, save us some time. So McNair, as you can see, three for four, one touchdown. I did throw a pick. I edit that. I had to edit that out. I uh, didn't want y'all seeing that. But let's go back to the uh, – see if we can get a bench pattern going. I uh, like this uh, Andre Johnson right on the on the on the left. Uh, see if we can get him in the corner. Uh, this set feet lead is going to be very nice. I can see that bullet pass there. As Andre Johnson gets to the edge, and we're going to be able to score a quick touchdown. May have left him with a little bit of time, but that's all right. You guys saw that set feet lead was very very nice on Steve McNair there. Uh, he got the ball out very uh, very fast, um, and we go ahead and knock that on through. So tied up at 14. Uh, hopefully going into halftime tied up. We do get ball back at half too, so that's huge. So see if we can get a quick stop and get the ball back in McNair's hands. All right, guys, he did just throw that turnover. We're going to go ahead and highlight that there. You saw Kevin Byard go ahead and come up with a pick. That would have been nice if it was a you know, 97 overall Kevin Byard, um, if we had got a Kevin Byard today. But let's go ahead and come out vertical, see if I can make the right read here. Hopefully we, we can get enough time to make a quick read. Uh, can we get Calico? Is he going to burn? Calico on the outside. Can we get... Oh, just overthrown. That's that's terrible. But, again, that, that's not my fault. I mean, I mean, yeah, that is my fault. That's not McNair's fault. I thought we had him beat over that. I should have... I guess I should have thrown a bullet pass. But, it's all good. Let's hop back out, out here on defense. See if we can close off the half. Uh, McNair with two picks. Not what you want to see. But, I mean, both of them pretty much my fault. Uh, but let's see if we can get a quick stop here. Aeneas Williams again. He's going to stiff arm and get back up. Let's go, Aeneas. Come on. Come on. Make a play. Oh, block. Get a block there. Kenny Vaccaro. But we come out with 10 seconds left. Aeneas Williams with two interceptions. And Kevin Byard with one as well. Uh, I mean, I don't know why we went away from it. Let's go back to it. Saints drag. See if we can get something going. Looks like he's coming out in the cover three. Calico burnt him last time. Can we get another burn here? Tyrone Calico. Okay, nice swat there. Five seconds to go. Four for seven, 149 yards for McNair. Uh, two touchdowns, two picks. Um, five seconds. Let's see if we can get a, a bench route uh, to the sideline. See if we can get in field goal range really. F Ooh, this might be tough. It might be tight. Uh, let's see if we can just break out for a touchdown like we did last time with Andre Johnson. Um, Andre Johnson, get to the outside. Come on, baby. We're not going to be able to make it. To, I didn't, see, I could have gone out of bounds there. I don't think we would have had enough time anyway. So it is halftime. We do get the ball back at half. So let's get the ball back in McNair's hand. Let's go make a play. All right, guys. we got to mix in the run some uh, somehow just to, you know, uh, know we can run it sometimes. So Barry Sanders is going to get about eight yards. Pretty solid gain there. Uh, y'all guys let me know how y'all feel about Thursday. We are playing the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, pretty big game for you know division purposes. Um, 
See if Derrick Henry can pick up this first. Roll over, roll over, roll over. Do we get that first down? Scan it too. It's going to be close. And we do get it. So, I kind of want to start mixing in. Um, I want to try a read option. See if McNair can get, you know, to the outside. See if we can hit something uh, pretty big to the outside. But, yeah, y'all let me know about Thursday, what y'all feel about that. I'm a little nervous. Um, uh, he's going to – I missed the read, but – Oh, McNair stay in bounds. Oh, I thought we were going to make something out of nothing there. I mean, we almost did, but uh, that was the bad read. Let's run it again. Let's see what he does. I'm probably going to hand it off this time just, you know, to hand it off. Uh, we'll have to see. No, I'm not. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Oh, he's got Albert Hainsworth. And I think that's Javon Curse that chased me down there last time. But third and 15 here. Obviously nothing doing with the... Uh, let's try a screen pass. Uh, a pass. Uh, nothing doing there with the read option. So... Let's go to Bear Sanders here for the screenplay. Let's see if we can get something going here. It's probably going to be, you know, user in the middle of the field a good bit. Uh, if we don't get this, probably won't go for it because why not? Uh, come on, Barry. Let's see if we can get something here on the outside. Good swerve. Uh, fall forward. Great run, Barry Sanders. Picking up the first down, keeping this drive alive. McNair, six for nine, 192 yards. All right, let's go back to our money play. You already know what it is. Five wide, empty wide, Saint. Let's actually go to, uh, he's probably going to think, he's probably going to know what's coming there. So, let's try Saints Goes Whip. Uh, this is an awesome audible play to audible out of uh, Saints Drags because, you know, just watch. I'm going to actually drag Calico across the field, see if we can hit him, maybe. Um, and we are going to be able to hit him, and Calico's got some room. Tries to make a little cutback move, but we do go ahead and get out of bounds. I believe his left foot did step out of bounds there. So, uh, clock does stop, I believe. Let's come out in a little different look out of this formation. I'm trying to see. Actually, it didn't get out of bounds, but that's all right. Calico here on this corner route um, might be open. Derrick Henry on that little skinny post as well. Maybe Cook over here on the right, but we'll just have to make a read. Oh, we got sacked. Got sacked. Really had nothing there, to, to be honest, guys. Uh, second and 18 coming up. We are a little tired. Uh, our wide receivers are a little tired. Let's give them a little break here. Let's run the ball with Derrick Henry. See if we can get going on offense here. Mm. He, his drives do take a while, so still, you know, looking to score. Derrick Henry does fall forward for, again, what, four? Two rushes, seven yards for Derrick Henry. Third and 14. Let's go back to our uh, Calico is tired still. So let's try another screen pass with Barry. Let's try, actually, let's go back to bench. I like bench. Yeah, bench is still in here. Uh, Andre Johnson is one away from his X Factor, so it is a little tight over there. But let's see if we can hit it. I don't know if we will. Oh, that was a little law pass. Almost picked off again. Probably not the best read, but I think I'm going to take my three here. Hopefully take my three and uh, be able to knock this through with Greg Joseph. Um, it's kind of funny. Greg Joseph's not even our kicker anymore. But in Mutt, he is. Uh, I kind of had a lock in there. I didn't want to talk and like um, miss the kick. But 17-14, we'll take it. Uh... Almost in the third quarter. So, 17-14, his drop. We just got to get a stop, guys. That's that's the key. We got to get one stop. All right, guys. We forced a third down. Can we get a quick stop here? Oh, what a play by Sam Mills and Javon Kurz combining on the tackle. He is going to no huddle, so this is going to be, I don't want to say game because he still has three timeouts, but close to it. Uh, probably going to look for some stick play. Oh, my God. We were there. All we have to do is make a tackle, and that ball might come loose. But Michael Vick is able to complete it. That's unfortunate. Time is ticking, so we just got to keep him out of the end zone. Um, field goal's fine. We don't want to give up a field goal either, but, I mean, it's better than a um, pretty nice little run there by Moster. We've been able to box up Moster pretty well. Uh, he's only got 27 yards on 10 carries, so that's not bad. Probably have been around, what, three, three yards uh, or so. So looks like it's going to be another run maybe. I think he might have flipped the play. Uh, it is going to be another run. And Sam Mills is just not moving for me. I'm trying to move him around, but it's going to be a two-minute warning. I don't know what happened there. Batteries didn't go dead. Uh, I guess we just... Sam Mills didn't want to move there on that play. But it is going to be first and ten with two minutes to go. we got to keep him out of this end zone, man. we got to keep him out of the end zone. Um, hopefully look for a win here. I'm going to bring down my safeties. It's going to be another stretch. And Vic Beasley and Sam Mills combine on the tackle again. Second and nine, only a one-yard gain for Mostert. Very nice defensive play there. Uh, Vic Beasley no longer with us uh, in real life. Um, I wish he could play like that. You know, 
the way he plays in Madden is a lot better than he does in real life. It's going to be a read option with Vic, and what a juke to, you know, keep Beasley out of the play, but Javon Curse is there to clean it up. Uh, third and nine, big third down coming. Probably going to kick his field goal, I would assume, if he doesn't get it, depending on how many yards he is to the first down after this play. Uh, staying in the cover three. It's been working this drive. We just got a user well across the middle. He's going to hit that slant route. Wow, he, Aeneas Williams, great play on the ball. I thought we were going to get a pick there for a second. I thought it was up for sure first down if he threw that a little earlier. But he is going to go ahead and kick his three. Let's see what happens here. McNair game-winning drive on the way. Can we see it? That, that, that would be fantastic if we can get a McNair game-winning drive. Unless I throw a pick. All right, looks like he's going to... He's going to barely get it on through there. 17-17, a minute and five seconds on the clock. Can we get a game-winning drive with Steve Ayer McNair? Let's see. All right, guys, I'm still going to look to mix in the run a little bit just because let's go, uh, let's go, mm, I don't know. Let's go back to slants, uh, block cook, uh, see if we can hit Derrick Henry. Depending on what he's in, uh, obviously we still have three timeouts, so I'm not going to be as scared to... Um, what a throw and catch. Yes, great catch there by Bennett on the sideline. So this is going to be a gain of what, almost, I think almost 20 yards there. 19. Let's try Saints spot here. Like I said, I'm not going to be scared to throw the or run the ball because we do still have. Uh, let's actually keep Derek hitting that Henry route. I like that. Um, see if we can streak Calico and see if Andre Johnson comes open if he's in cover two. But like I said, I'm not going to be scared to run the ball. We still have three timeouts. See what we can get here. Can we get that? Andre Johnson, what a dime by McNair. I'm going to chew off some clock now. Yeah, like the suggestions say, chew off some clock. See if we can get it. this game-winning drive complete. I was surprised he didn't call a timeout there, to be honest. Uh, but Andre Johnson does have his X Factor now. So let's see if we can get a run here with Derrick Henry. Cut it up. Gain of what? So he is going to start using his timeouts. Not surprising at all. Um, you know what we're going to do here? We're going to actually go back to the read option. See if we can get McNair loose. I'm trusting in McNair that he does not fumble this ball. Uh, I believe I'm going to be reading. I don't even know who that is on the outside. But let's see. He's going to stay with McNair, but I'm still going to keep it. Derrick Henry. Get the ball. Oh, Derrick Henry. Lead block. Yes. McNair. Touchdown with 12 seconds on the clock. What a play. Steve McNair does it again. What a play. I mean, that, that speed is insane on a field general, guys. That is insane. Greg Joseph on the kick. That should be going on through. It is. It's, we're going to go up seven points with 12 seconds to go. What a play. Steve McNair. Three touchdowns total. Two on the uh, two through the air, one on the ground. What a game from Steve McNair. We're going to stick. Uh, Y'all going to stick with me here this last 12 seconds. Uh, see if we can chew off some clock here on this return. Don't you dare. Oh, my goodness. Odell almost broke that. But we're going to be playing prevent defense this last six seconds. See if we can just keep them out of the end zone. It's the one thing we've got to do with six seconds to go. He shouldn't. I don't. There's no way he has a, uh, arm power to get it to the end zone from here. Uh, but I'm going to look to blitz here with Sam Mills. Not give him any time. He might be running this ball, to be honest. Actually, he's going to throw it. He's going to look for something short. And... No catch. He called timeout, but there's actually still one. One He called timeout incompletion. One second left. Uh, let's see what we do. I actually tried to uh, click on for the sack, but I clicked on a Kevin Byer. That could have been very, very bad if we didn't have that, you know, manned up. Uh, I believe. I don't know who was manned up on him, but that was really clutch there. I tried to click on for the sack, and I clicked on Kevin Byer. Uh, but go ahead. and All right. Looks like we're going to be able to force the incompletion. And that's going to be game, boys. Steve McNair, game-winning read option with 12 seconds to go. Well, it can't get much better than that. Air McNair looks beautiful back in Madden. Uh, gosh, that was beautiful. Uh, but we'll have to just wait and see. If we get some new Titans cards, we're going to be doing some more gameplays throughout the week. If we get a new Titans card tomorrow. Uh, uh, guys, if you guys are trying to do a Titans theme team, Randy Moss... I said last week he was coming. I wasn't thinking we were getting a free Nat, the 50 card. So I was like, there's no way they give us a free, um, the free, uh, the 50 or the free, uh, a free Randy Moss. I don't think they were ever going to do that. But see if we can get to our stats here. Look at Manair's stats. I believe he had over maybe 200 yards this game. We'll have to just see. 
Uh, but I think Randy Moss is going to be coming the, the 50 uh, this week. Um, so I'm saving up my 83 overalls. I think I have around 20 or so, so I've got to buy a little bit more. If you guys are, I would invest right now because if there is a Randy Moss coming, those cars are going to shoot up in value. I'm talking about shoot up. They're going to be very expensive if, if we do get a Randy Moss. So go ahead and invest in your 83 overalls now. Uh, prepare for you know a Titans card uh, on the way. McNair, 255, two touchdowns. Let's check them out here. Uh, 9 for 13, 255 yards, uh, two touchdowns, two interceptions on through the air. And can we check out rushing? Uh, McNair with one touchdown on the ground, which is very nice. Um, so McNair, solid game. Again, those two picks were my bad. So basically three touchdowns, very solid game from Steve McNair. Great game-winning drive at the end. was very exciting. Uh, but, yeah, that's going to do it for the video. Make sure you guys prepare, guys. Prepare. Prepare is the key word here, guys. So prepare for the 50. Most likely going to get a Randy Moss, in my opinion. I think we're going to get some big-time cards. If we don't, then just hang on to them. Wait for the Randy Moss to come because uh, you're going to be able to get that power-up, too, if you complete the set. So I believe the, those cards are going to shoot up in value if we get someone big like a Randy Moss. Uh, but, yeah. Make sure you guys invest. Be smart with your coins. Uh, like I say all the time, be smart. Just be smart. Use your brain. Uh, do the best you can to make coins. But yeah, big time game here from Steve McNair. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Until next time, I'll see y'all.